So I have a question with regards to decision making. So I like the idea of mix and match. In other words, maintain the 1P operation, selling to Amazon, and then slowly transition to seller central, uh, taking away some of the items, not all of the items, but some of the items. What do you like to do? Because as a wholesaler, manufacturer, the mindset is quantity. But as a retailer, which is what you're becoming, the mindset is not necessarily quantity, uh, quantity sales. So when you do your analysis, because I heard you at the beginning that you review the, the, if you like, the unit economics in terms of what is it that you are, the company is receiving now and what is it that it's going to receive after all the fees. So when you do that analysis, do you prefer to bring into the 3P operation to sell directly? The items that sell the most quantity or the items that will result in more net profitability? I mean, that's really a question that, you know, we ask in concert with the brand and it comes down to unit economics, right? You know, if on a wholesale basis, they had advantageous pricing with Amazon, whereby they could make an acceptable margin on a wholesale basis, right? We're, we're advocates of whatever is a win for the brand, right? So this is why Andy was talking about, you know, sort of a partial transition, which is don't upset the Apple cart, don't, you know, blow up your meal ticket, which if, if Amazon wants to continue to buy on that basis, we can say, okay, we can, we can leave that there. If your skew economics are changing significantly because your costs are going up, Amazon won't accept those, right? Or that sales number is going down. And let's remember that even though we're selling on a 1P basis to Amazon, right? There's an in the middle ground here, which is that many brands are still responsible for running many of their own marketing efforts. Right. On top right. Of that, right. So your storefront, your advertising, those costs may be changing over time, which might change you to think about skew economics. And then, you know, on the other side of the fence, in terms of 3P, you know, doing a margin analysis, you know, we really, the best way to answer this, this question is it has to be done on a product basis because so many products have different economics. They have a different advertising context and competition dynamic that you've got to get keep a very close pulse on those things. And look, sometimes 1P allows brands to get away from that a little bit because they're like, look, I made my sale, moving on to the next thing. I'll wait for the buyer to call me back. And they don't really know what's going on out there. The, you know, the, the 3P context forces brands to have a little bit better handle on, on unit economics. Um, well, it, and, and I think there's the other the other consideration that that is that we bring into that evaluation is looking at things like search volume, competition, right? What's happening? So we're looking internally at, at skew economics, right? And there are decisions that are made based on all the things we, that we've talked about. It may also be you know that there's some market factor, right? Competition, search volume where we feel like there's a bigger opportunity to take advantage of that if we transition that skew from, away from 1P. Um, and, and then there's always the logistics, right? There may be a product that is complicated for the brand to prep for 3P, and they would rather just continue to sell that into Amazon and let them worry about some of that you know, prep, like breaking down you know, master cases. And so those are all kind of important considerations, right? And every brand and every product is a little different. And so that's why there's an evaluation that isn't one size fits all, right? It really matters what some of these decisions are and, and lining up with the brand about, about kind of their capabilities and priorities and, and skew specific, uh, you know. And sometimes unit economics might not always be the driver of the bus, Nick, right? Like a lot of these brands will have strategic considerations, which are, for example, I mean, Let's not forget, right? We're talking about the largest retailer of products in the world. And so brands that are that are getting to sizable sales cannot afford to not think defensively or strategically about their market niche, right? So they can't say, you know what? The unit, sometimes they might say, you know, the unit economics aren't great in a particular niche on Amazon. However, the ripple effects of losing significant market share to a competitor on Amazon will hurt them in other places. So yeah. you might say, look, the unit economics here aren't particularly great, but we still need to keep, you know, our feet next to the fire, so to speak, because we got to defend awareness, brand awareness in other channels. Yeah. 
Well, there's one more thing, and that's the inventory that you'll be carrying as the retailer now, because you're yep. going to be a retailer. So if Amazon is giving you POs, at the end of the day, they'll write you a check uh, and uh, for whatever the quantity. And if you are carrying it yourself to replenish your sales, then there is nobody to bill to. So right. there is, uh, and if it's a higher ticket item, then the value of the inventory you'll be holding will be greater. So yeah, there's so many factors. It's uh, It reminds me of this favorite saying uh, about strategy versus tactics. So right. strategy here, uh, so it, have I have I ever told you that that phrase that I love this quote I quote all the time strategy without tactics is the slowest route to victory but tactics without strategy is noise before defeat so <laughs> so this thing that you describe here this this yeah. little conversation is so strategic you make the wrong decisions to switch the wrong item then you're gonna pay a long time you make the right decision even if you execute badly you'll still be okay in the long run because yeah, that was the right thing to do yeah yeah, yeah right. absolutely yeah Fair.